welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the Play Box by Sephora. Um, where I'm going to do a wear test and talk to you a little bit about the products that I've been um, using. I've actually, this is not like a first impression, I've actually been using these for like the week. Just because there was skincare in here, so I wanted to be able to give you like an actual opinion about my thoughts. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so in the Sephora box this month, I'm just reading off my phone because it kind of tells me um, what's going on. So the theme this month is Feel the Love, February 2018, um, and we get six products. I personally think that the Sephora Playbox is a lot better than like Ipsy or uh, BoxyCharm. I don't know why, I just think that like the products are more products that, you know, I'm used to and the brands that I like um, and they always give you like a good amount of things so I'm really liking it okay so the first item in the box this month in the bag looks like this so cute a little squeezy bag I mean I guess you could theoretically use this but it says feel the love and whenever you open the box every month they give you one of these like you get 50 extra points um, from Sephora, which could be great. I never use them. So the first one here, it's by Pharmacy. It's the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I have been using this all week. Um, I'm like almost out of it. It's incredible. I'm probably, I'm definitely repurchasing this. Um, it doesn't burn so ten, like so nice and calming on the eyes. Um, it takes off all of your makeup. It kind of makes a mess, which I guess is why people would prefer a makeup wipe because when you're like wiping your face, your eye makeup, like your foundation is kind of going like all over the sink because it's like all just like melting off your face. So like it's good in terms of getting you really clean, but it's like also kind of gross because you're like makeup's everywhere. <laughs> um, Awesome product, we'll be repurchasing. Next product is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Um, we get a little container like this, super cute. Um, and I've been, I've actually been using it a lot. It's pretty good. I've been having like an eye situation recently where like I came back from Vegas in January and my eyeballs, like my eyelids, have been just like dry. And same with my eyebrows, like the skin underneath my eyebrows. It's kind of disgusting. Um, this has been definitely good. I've also been sort of taking a break from eyeshadow because I think my MAC Soft Ochre paint pot has been drying out my eyes. I've been using it as primer and I'm pretty sure that's what's kind of been doing me dirty. No shade to MAC. Um, I think it's just more like the winter and dry weather because this never played me before and it's playing me. Next, I think it would be appropriate. Okay, so what we got a, let's see here, Laura Mercier Rose Gold Caviar Stick Eye Color. Um, so it's an eye crayon. So we are going to go ahead and actually use this. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just going to put this on the eyeballs. I'll let you know how I feel. <laughs> it's cute. Would I ever use this? Probably not. TBH. Yeah, um, I mean, maybe for a base, let's try to put something on top of it. I wonder if that would be better. Okay, let's take the Dose of Colors X Desi Katie palette, um, and we'll go into... Suze? Suze? Okay. So that's one eye as like a base, and then one eye without, you know? It's cute. I really don't see, I would not like go out and spend money on this, you know? So the next product, one of my all-time favorites, um, it's, the sh it's the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Cream. Um, it's incredible. It does have a tint to it. It's like a red tint, but honestly, it's a red tint the best way. It smells like lemonade, but like lemonade whenever you're like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like those lap, like lip smackers maybe. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's like amazing. It's incredible. The only thing that would probably be like more nourishing is the Bite Beauty like Agave lip cream. Don't talk to me about that one. 
So next in the box, we have a Sephora lipstick. It's the Sephora Collection uh, Rouge Matte in Rebel Chic. Um, it says it's creamy conditioning, a creamy conditioning lipstick in a berry shade with an ultra matte finish. Sounds exciting. So here is the lipstick. This is what you're going to get. Is this autofocus? I wonder. Okay, so here's the lipstick. Um, nice little mini. It is a berry shade for sure. Um, and let's go ahead and apply this. And that's the lipstick fully applied. Um, how do I feel about this? Well, I put on that sugar, the fresh sugar lip balm or whatever prior to this. And it just didn't mix well. Like, it just didn't mix well. Like, it's pretty patchy. But I'm not loving it. Uh, so this is, like, what it looks like on my lips. And then, like, swatched. It's one of those. Which even looks kind of patchy on my arm. And for the last thing in this month's bag is a Chloe perfume. It's the A Du Parfum. Um, what they're saying about it is absolute heaven. It's soft and cozy, yet clean and fresh. So let's see what our thoughts are. No, I can definitely get down with this. It's good. I can, I really like it. Would I buy it? No. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was it for today. Um, that was this month's Sephora box. Let's run down real quickly. So for the Sephora Collection Rouge Matte Lipstick, probably won't be repurchasing. I'm sure this full tube, too, is probably, like, not even that expensive, but I don't think that it's worth it. Um, it came out pretty patchy on me, and maybe that could have been that could have had something to do with the lip balm I put on before it, but even so, it's kind of a weird color. <laughs> okay, uh, the Fresh uh, Sugar Lip Treatment, absolutely I've repurchased that a thousand times. Great stuff. The Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Rose Gold. I mean, it was cute if you're, like, very minimalistic in terms of, you know, I mean, I don't know if you're running out the door and going to work. I've actually been loving, like, the bald like the bald eye look. No, no eye petal base, nothing on it. Um, kind of just, like, going with your own color, of like, your eye contour color itself. Um, I've been really liking it. I've kind of also, like, if you have greasy eyelids, which I've been trying to grease up my eyelids... <laughs> I think it's actually a really cute look. It's kind of like that glossy look, you know? Um, okay. The Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Um, 100% will repurchase. Um, and then Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I think it's really good. I, um, don't know that I'll repurchase it, but I think it's great. And the Chloe A Du Parfum. It's good. It's good. I probably won't get it, though. <laughs> But it's not bad. So yeah, guys, that was everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. I feel like I kind of look a cadet. Like I'm like, like in the army with a shirt on. No? Yeah! <laughs> this is my Look cute. You know? That work life chic. Chic. Do you, do you have a second to like zoom in or not? Or not? I can't tell if cutting my hair was the best thing I ever did or worst thing I ever did.